Hi everyone, it's Felicia and Callie here and welcome back to our favorite segment and we're going to show you our 16 to 18 months favorites and it's full of items from books to potties to a lovely block set from Lovery. So stay tuned, I'm going to show you them all and also show you Callie interacting with them. Are you ready? Are you ready, ready, ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I have kisses? Okay, the first one is the Lovery block set, y'all. It is so great for, yes, all the beautiful colors, but also the imaginary play and helping her build items. And we're really trying to enhance that part of her skill level. She's already just kind of like going after it. Where does that go? Yeah, that fits in there. Whoa, look at that. Picture of everything that comes in the block set and all the ways that you can play. Like even the front, you have the shapes that you can place in there. Sorting shapes, pretend play with the peoples. You can build upward and it grows. So it starts at 18 months and your kid can use this as they're getting older, all the way I think it says 36 months. But the sky is the limit. Look at it, jumping over hurdles. She can jump like mama. Whoa. How about the circle? Good job. We're gonna go on to some more of our favorites. All right, y'all, so the next favorite is the summer transition potty. So we started to sit her and introduce the potty around like 18 months, and this potty does it all. So it has the protector in the seat. This comes out and is a bedpan, so you can wash and rinse this out. Place the seat right there, the cover, it flushes. How cute is that? It's got the pocket up here that we put her like her potty book in as well. And we just pretty much, everyone introduces potty training at different stages. But around 18 months, we just kind of showed her the potty. And now that she is older, she is in this video, she's 21 months, but she's now actually like sitting on it and going poop and going potty. But we just kind of visually share it to her around 18 months. I know everyone starts potty training in different stages, but I wanted to include this into this favorites. It's just so realistic. Like it looks like your standard potty is super easy to put together and she actually enjoys sitting on it. Oh, she's over here with her book, y'all. She has, come over here, Molly. Come over here. She loves Minnie and Minnie had Minnie and Mickey have a whole series of books. This is the, a day at the park. There's like a four series that I'll leave a link below. But if your child loves Minnie and Mickey, this is the perfect book. She loves it so much that she's like literally just flipped the pages so much and torn it apart. We need to get some more. Is that Minnie? And Minnie and Mickey going to the park? Y'all, she be reading too. So you know I always like to include some type of clothes or shoes. And today we're gonna talk about the Billy footwear. So these are some cute like high top shoes for Cali and they have a zipper. So Billy is all about having a universal design and being accessible for all. So Cali has orthotics that she wears, but also for kids who might have complications with tying their shoe, who might have a disability of some sort and like high tone in their shoe in their high tone in their feet and their ankles that require them to wear orthotics or it's hard for them themselves to put their shoes on and their caregiver does it for them these are the go-to shoes so we want to size up so she can fit her orthotics in it but it's really easy to to zip around 
it's really easy to zip up. And here's the zipper, it goes all the way down in here. You can also lace them. They have really cute colors. They have low tops, high tops, but I thought these high tops are really cute. And I mean, they're not just for kids who have any type of disability. It's just a universal design that's for all. So it doesn't mean that you can't wear Billy if you don't wear orthotics or something else. So check them out. They're $50, so it's a good price and they're really durable. So yeah, Billy footwear. So another thing is cleaning and disinfecting toys. We are always trying to keep Callie's toys clean. She loves the teeth on them. We're always just making sure that we're protecting her from flu and cold. And so this Clean Smart disinfective spray works so well. It doesn't use any harsh chemicals and it destroys germs and keeps them clean. So we spray on and then we let them sit for a period of time. And so we're always, she's in that teething stage right now so we'll spray as she's <laughs> as she's gnawing on this toy we'll use a clean smart spray on her toys in the evening and at night to strip them so kills rsv cold flu strep e coli salmonella all of it just spray and play our next favorite is the leapfrog remote control kalia loves the remote She's like seeing us turn a TV on and she's like, I need my own remote. But with this one, she's got like a favorite button that she always clicks on and pushes. But you can turn it and the volume turns up and down. Oh. And it has numbers and shapes and music on it. And it has a little game on it as well. And so I love that it repeats the numbers, it repeats the shapes. And then, can I see it real quick? And it lights up right here when you click one, on. One light. And then you can click on music. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this one is like good for like the educational part, but she loves music, she loves lights, and she loves the remotes. She will literally just sit here and push and press buttons over and over. We've been also trying to get into, okay, sorry, sweetie, turn it off, some puzzles. So she really conquered a puzzle that had just one piece to it, like, and then we took it the next step up and got these animal puzzles that have multiple pieces to it. So I'm going to show you a quick second. You want to sit right here? Can you sit? So here is the puzzle. As you see, it has five pieces to it. It's a butterfly. We have more that are bees and different animals. But what I love is that it's like that next level up from the other puzzle she was using that just literally just had one piece to it. This one, she has to really think through of where everything goes. And the colors are really bright. It's wood, which is what we love. It's durable. She wants to teeth all over it. But it comes in a lovely set. So I have the plastic still in a couple of these, but you got your ladybug. You've got your teddy bear. All the roadie magical unicorn. So this is supposed to help Callie with balance and coordination, engaging her core. It also is perfect next step up from the bouncer. We don't have the bouncer anymore. And now she has to hold on here. So it's good for grip and it gets the energy out and she loves it. Let's try. You want to show them? Want to get on your roadie? <gasps> yeah! Can you bounce, 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 bounce? Bounce, 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 bounce! Get a girl, get a girl, get a girl, get a girl! And when we first got this, her feet didn't even touch the ground. And you see she's going rocking back and forth. Can you hold on? Can you hold on? Good grip. Sometimes she's like, look, Ma, no hands. Can you hold on right here? Thank you. <laughs> Y'all. What? Oh, you gonna stop now. Look, show them your magical unicorn. So we love art and I had to get this easel set. One side is a chalkboard, the other side is a dry eraser. And then you've got this roll, a 
of paper that we can pin down and she can paint. So we have been very much into the arts and crafts. We also, it also comes with letters that we can place on here and work through the alphabet and work through her numbers so it's magnetic. So I love that we can place it on the table because she's not quite to the point where she's plain standing up a lot. So we place it on one of her tables and she can go to town with this and do so many different art projects. So definitely recommend this for this stage. It's a Melissa and Doug uh, three-in-one art easel. The next favorite is this Radio Flyer Wagon. Callie, <laughs> she's out. She loves it. It's been helping her with her walking and it's really easy for her to push and maneuver. It's not the best for turning, but it's such a classic like toy. I mean, everyone had a wagon growing up. Yeah, let me go catch up with her because she is out. <laughs> oh, look at you, girl. You were moving fast. And now she is getting closer to one of her favorite chairs, this star couch seat. And it's a toddler seat and it's so perfect for her to be able to sit with us and have back support, arm support. She's like trying to get herself to it. It's really comfortable. Can you do it? You want help? She can get herself in this chair too. Yay! <laughs> can I have a kiss? Y'all, she loves this chair. This has been one of our her walking chairs. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you her walking from this chair to myself. Can you walk? Y'all, she don't wanna walk. <laughs> She's coming for you guys though. Really, girl? She said, no, I don't wanna walk. It's your world. We're just living in it, huh? All right, well, that was our favorites from 16 to 18 months. Callie says she's out of here. <laughs> Oh, you got to see the wagon, her chair, some block toys, a lot of them. It's been fun to see her kind of exploring with her imagination and doing big girl stuff like the potty. And it's just been really cool to see. So I hope you've enjoyed this segment of our favorites. Let me know which one was your favorite or if there's anything that you've been using from the 16 to 18 month period that you really enjoyed. And you'll find all the links to all the toys below in the description. Thanks y'all. Don't forget to subscribe and like.